hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a mango mukbang um i just decided that i really wanted to grind and go hard so i just picked whatever i had in my refrigerator and i was like let's do a mukbang so before i get into this mukbang go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you leave a comment down below like this video and also hit that bell so that you're notified every time that i post on my channel without further ado let's get into the so i'm just going to go ahead and start eating because i haven't eaten breakfast yet it's like 9 40 something so i'm all right mm -mm. mangoes are not supposed to be that hard Come on now, Walmart. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know what the other thing was. But that was not a mango. Are they all like that? Because if so, that just went ahead and uh, ruined the mukbang. Oh my God, y'all. They're, they're all hard like that. Who's supposed to be eating a hard mango? Like, this is not an apple. I want them to know that these are mangoes. They're not supposed to be crunching on like an apple or a pear or. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. The milk ring might get canceled. It might get turned to something else. But school is over for this semester. So today is the last day of school and all my professors canceled class. They're like, yeah, you know, we're not doing this. Just go ahead. Don't even worry about coming to class because we're not going to do anything. I was like, that is what's up. Like, y'all, this semester has been so crazy. Especially with these group projects. Like, they have been insane. And. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, this ain't right. Walmart. Now. I'm not, I'm not eating these apples that they got in this container talking about mangoes. I cannot do this. I can't. <sighs> All right. Mango mukbang is over. Um, hold on. I'm okay, back. guys. I'm back. So, I had to resort to noodles. And I haven't put in the seasoning or anything in yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I also have some water right here. So I'm going to be drinking water. So I'm going to put the seasoning packet in. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir that up. I try to make it, like, even throughout the whole thing. Because then you get some specks of noodles that don't have any seasoning on it, and it's just disgusting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some obey in there. Old bay, sorry. Cause these are the shrimp flavored noodles. And I just love seafood. I can't wait till I do my seafood mukbang. Cause I'm gonna tear that junk up. Do you hear me? So as I was sadly, you know, interrupted by the new um by the mangoes. I was saying that the teachers, you know, had canceled school and whatnot on the last day. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I think I'm just going to um, clean up my car. Um, and I don't know what else. Oh, before I get into this. Lord, thank you for this word I'm about to receive. May I nourish my body, feed my flesh for Christ's sake. Amen. All right, now I can dig in. The noodles act like they don't want to wind up. 
wind up, please. I haven't had noodles in a really long time. And it's pretty good right now. Or I'm just hungry, one or the other. But let's talk about school. So, as you all know, I go to College of Charleston. And I'm a senior this year. And this has literally been the worst or most rough semester that I've ever had in college. Like, my whole time. So... I don't know if it's because everybody got senioritis and they feel like they don't have to do anything, especially pertaining to these group projects. So I had one group project. It was great. I mean, it was overwhelming. Like we worked a lot. We worked every Monday. We had group meetings every Monday. When I say every Monday, did we did not skip a Monday. And the only like, hard part about this is I didn't get out of class until 6 45 on Mondays so that means the meetings couldn't start till 7 and it went from 7 until whenever we finished an assignment due or whenever we found like new research or whatever for the assignment <clears throat> and that group project or assignment it like took a lot out of me but it didn't take as much out of me because you know I had my team members and they were there to help me but these other two group assignments projects that I had oh honey I could have did without those I definitely could have did without them so one of the assignments it was a simulation so if you don't know what a simulation is um it's like an online computer game so to say and you compete against people in your class and you try to beat them basically. So this simulation, we were selling laptops and we were trying to, you know, dominate the market share and things like that. A whole lot of marketing stuff. But the group would literally, when I said wait till the day of before it's due to try to work on it, it was so annoying. I would take time over the weekend and like go and look at it and like take notes down and I was like, oh, you know, I think this is a good decision to make, you know, compared to what everybody else is doing. They were like, no, you know, I think we should do this, da 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 da, da. And it, when I said they'll make the decision in five minutes without looking over all of the stats or information that we received from the last quarter that we did, it was so annoying. Like, I really hated that group. They did everything last minute. And then the other group. They just, they just don't do nothing. They don't do anything. I basically have been doing all the work for that group the whole semester. And I told the professor, and she's just like, yeah, it's okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, 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 sweetie. It's not okay. Like, I don't know if you don't understand what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is they should get a zero. Point blank, period. Like, give them a zero, please. This has just been crazy. Like, I'm glad it's over. I really am. And I'm glad I haven't had the mindset where, like, Oh, well, if they're not going to do anything, I'm not going to do anything either because it affects my grade at the end of the day. And I'm trying to get these degrees, baby. And that's all I'm looking forward to. That's all I'm worried about. I'm not worried about anybody else and what they're doing. I'm just going to do what I got to do, and I'm going uh, to keep it pushing. And that's all to it. Mm. You know... I never looked at the ingredients on Obey. I don't see none. Oh, I like yes, I do. I thought it was a little bit spicier, like the noodles. I thought it was a little bit spicier than usual. That's because it has 
celery salt, spices, including red pepper, black pepper, and paprika. That's all? So you mean to tell me we've been buying Old Bay and we can literally just make this season at our house? I feel bamboozled. I don't know about you, but I do. Anyway, shout out to Old Bay. Y'all to go for tricking us and then buying this this whole time. Um, I was about to ask a question, but then I got caught up because then I was about to state a sentence. Ignore that, okay? But how many of y'all like seafood? Like, if you like seafood, comment down below. And if you don't like seafood, comment what's your favorite food down below. You know, eating makes me dance. Well, I'm done. It's only like in a pack of noodles. When I was little, when I was younger, a pack of noodles is to fill me up. Now, I took like four or five bites and then the noodles are done. Like, it's gone. Like, it's nothing left. I'm telling you, portions, or maybe it's just me because I'm older or bigger, whatever you want to call it, that it takes a lot more to fill you up than when you were a kid, but dang, I miss being a kid. I used to be full all the time, didn't have no bills, didn't have no responsibilities except for like chores, you know, going to school, but that was easy. That was the simpler times of my life, but you know, I'm not complaining right now because you know. It's growth. You learn from mistakes or I don't call them mistakes. I, I call them lessons. But you learn from those things. And you just find out what you like in life, what you don't like, what you want to do, what you want to become. You get to try new things that you probably weren't able to try when you were a kid. So it's real life. Like, it's straight. Like, it's good. But still, no bills, that would be great. That would be lovely, actually. But now I just feel like, you know, I'm rambling on and on for no reason since I've stopped eating. I don't even really know if I was talking about something. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you liked it. I know that it was kind of like all over the place and I started with one food and I ended with another food. But hey, that's how life goes. It throws you a curveball. You got to know how to come back around and do something different. But today's riddle is how can you leave a room with two legs and enter back into that same room with six legs? So go ahead and comment down below the answer to that riddle. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click that bell so you're notified every time that I post a video. All right. Till next time. Peace.